Marine boilers. What is a boiler? Boiler is a pressure vessel, in which, fluid, mostly it is water, is heated. The heated or vaporized fluid exits the boiler, for use in various processes or heating applications. In a fuel-fired boiler, chemical energy in the fuel is converted into heat in the furnace. The function of the boiler is to transfer this heat to the water, in the most efficient manner. A boiler is designed to absorb the maximum amount of heat, released in the process of combustion. The heat is transmitted to the water in the boiler by radiation, conduction and convection. Smoke or fire tube boilers Combustion gases passes through tubes, which surrounded by water. Because of the production of low saturated steam, these boilers normally used for auxiliary purposes on board, like heating. Water tube boilers Water contained in small bore tubes are exposed to the heat of combustion. Considering to smoke or fire tube boilers, generation of steam is at much higher pressures and temperatures. Steam rising process is much quicker. There are some common types of boilers according to construction, which can be seen in the industry. Boiler mountings. Any boiler has to have certain fittings to ensure its safe operation. These are referred to as boiler mountings. Proper maintenance and care of the mountings is important, for the safety of both the boiler and the personnel, and also to maintain optimum operating condition of the boiler. Boiler safety valves. These are fitted to protect boiler against overpressure. These are fitted in pairs on the steam drum. The valves are designed to open at a designed blow off pressure. The boilers, which having superheaters, one more safety valve must be fitted to the superheater outlet header. Main steam stop valve. These are fitted in order to isolate the main steam supply line, usually non-return type. Feed check valves. These valves are there, to allow feed water to enter into the boiler. This is to prevent the backflow of water from the boiler, in the event of the failure of the feed water pump. Water level indicators. These are required to see the water level of the boiler, normally two water level indicators are fitted to each boiler, remote level indicator is at a convenient control position. Blow down valves. These valves are fitted in pairs to the water drum to enable water to be blown from the boiler. This is to reduce the boiler water density. Scum valves. These valves are fitted to the steam drum, and connected with a shallow dish, positioned internally at the normal water level. This is to remove oil, or scum from the surface of the water in the drum. These valves are discharged into the blow-down line. Air vents. Fitted to the highest point of the boiler drum in order to release air, when filling the boiler, when initially raising the steam, or to prevent forming vacuum, when totally depressurizing the boiler. Pressure gauge and other instrument connections. Fitted as required to steam drum, superheater outlet header etc., to provide the necessary pressure readings, in addition, 
suitable connections must be provided for the pressure sensing points required for automatic combustion control system. There are some important terms related to safety valves. Set pressure, the boiler pressure at which the safety valve begins to lift. Closing pressure, the boiler pressure at which the valve closes. Valve lift, the axial valve disc travel from closed to the open position. Blow down, the difference between the opening and the closing pressures. Here is a graphical explanation of some important terms. Boiler design pressure. The maximum pressure at which the boiler is designed to operate, it is known as maximum working pressure of the boiler. Boiler bursting pressure. The maximum pressure, a boiler could withstand structurally. If the boiler pressure is raised to its bursting pressure, the boiler could lead to a disaster. Boiler factor of safety. The ratio of boiler's bursting pressure to its designed pressure, for an example, if the boiler bursting pressure is 45 bar and the maximum working pressure is 10 bar, the factor of safety is 4.5. Accumulation pressure. The maximum pressure allowed to be accumulated in the boiler, when the safety valve is fully lifted with the main steam stop valve shut and boiler firing on full load. Let's see the boiler blow down procedure. Ship side valves must be opened first. Then come to the boiler side valves, open number 2 valve fully. Finally control the rate of blow down by valve number 3. This procedure must be carried out to protect the seat of valve number 2 from damage. So it will reduce the risk of leakage when the blow down valves are closed. After finish blow down close the valves in reverse order. It is very important to know that, blow dough is the only way to reduce the chloride concentration of boiler water. Blowing procedure of water level gauge glass. The figure shows a gauge glass directly attached to the boiler shell. First close the steam and water cocks, then open the drain. If the steam and water cocks are holding, nothing should blow out from drain cock. Now open and close the water cock to check the water line is clear from any obstruction. Same way open and close the steam cock to check the steam path is clear. Once confirmed both steam and water paths are clear, close the drain. First open the water cock, now the water must rise up to the top of the glass gradually. This is because the steam trapped on top of the glass get condensed, and due to the formation of vacuum, water rise up to the top. Then open the steam cock, now the water in the glass, must fall to the level of the water in the boiler. Basic things to do when starting a boiler. Check that the boiler is closed up properly, especially after repairs. Check physically, that all appropriate valves are shut, or open for safe starting of the boiler, like main steam stop valve, feed water valves, blow down valve, fuel valves, etc. Ensure that the boiler uptake passage is clear. Check and clear the furnace of any flammable materials. Boiler water filled to slightly below normal level. 
starting treatment chemicals may now be added to the boiler water. Pre-purging a furnace for a specified amount of time is necessary to clear the gas side of flammable gases, to avoid a starting explosion. On a cold boiler, the firing up must not be speeded up too much, in order not to overstrain the boiler material unnecessarily, by quick uneven temperature raises. Keep the boiler vents open until the boiler pressure of about 1 bar is reached. Before the boiler is put on load, blow through the gauge glasses, test the safety valves using easing gear and try out the safety cutouts. Stresses in boiler Boiler is a pressure vessel, so the strength is crucial when constructing a boiler. Mainly there are two types of stresses need to be considered. They are circumferential stress known as hoop stress, and longitudinal stress. Let's see one by one. Circumferential stress or hoop stress. Hoop stress set up in cylindrical structures, which subjected to an internal pressure. Let's find out the stress in the longitudinal seam of a thin cylindrical shell, subjected to an internal pressure. After calculation, we can decide the required strength must be there in longitudinal seam, and the materials to be used. It is shown here the process of calculation, this calculation has done to a thin cylindrical shell. Longitudinal stress Due to the inside pressure, force acting on the end plate which caused to build up stress in the circumferential joint. The procedure to calculate this is shown here. According to the calculations, we can see that the longitudinal joint stress is twice the circumferential joint stress. This is why, the longitudinal joint is the strongest joint in the shell. Thank you and good luck. See you in my next video.